today my topic is about implementing worship strategies part two okay in part two today the issues i'm going to talk about is the uh, group learning issues and also residential issues in implementing worship strategies all right now first of all group learning issues a facilitator smoothens group learning by allowing participants to portray attitudes of cooperation, active learning, and creative problem solving. Uh, Will in 1997 suggest the characteristic of effective group learning focuses on uh, like four or five people in a group, like small group, and heterogeneous with respect to age, gender, race, background, and interest. Uh, it is the facilitator's job to mix the group up by using um, games and strategies, for example, uh, cut the pieces of puzzle, distribute to the group members and ask them to find the, the pieces that match together. And the aim is to bring the whole team together and make them know it to each other. Right. Uh, also, efficient group processes with well-defined tasks, closure or follow-up, a long time for introductions, explanations, uh, questions, and debriefing. So, a facilitator is to provide clear guidelines and model um, appropriate behavior. So, the group is developing with a warming up that helps to uh, acquaint and define the task at hand. So a facilitator brings the two people together in trust and bring identity to a group. Okay, for example, use ice breaking activities uh, to clarify expectations and ground rules, uh, like how will the groups and individuals be accountable for their learning. So basic ground rules such as the reserve judgment, listen and offer feedback to one another, and view conflicts as opportunities for learning. Okay. Uh, effective group discussion like assigning different tasks to members of discussion, the gatekeeper to the main group on tasks, and the facilitators should keep an eye on any problem and difficulty that arise during the discussion. Uh, the learning style of each member is different, okay? The, for example, uh, time needs to assimilate new information, others learn better through discussion, role playing, and they need to respect each other. So to wrap up with check-in, all the members um, enhances a sense of um, the work of the group is meaningful, right? And to reform and consider uh, consistent assessment to determine the power of dynamics. And also be constantly aware of risk inherent in the workshop setting. And remember that the environment will be affected by contextual and subject concern. Okay, now next uh, residential issue. So according to Birch and Framing in 1997, the participants of the residential workshop could be the residents, the experienced planners and leaders. Okay, the characteristic of residential workshops and processes, uh, the planners and leaders require different expertise. So the planners must have experience logistical planning and appropriate settings. And great deal to create conditions of detachment and continuity and group processes expertise is need to select and create safe and conducive learning environment that is the physical psychological and social cultural all right now the next one is the residential uh, education is characterized by the adapting to the learning attitude understanding concepts and appreciations and to re-evaluate social political and personal philosophy which is not only at the bottom of citizenship but of all it uh, all cultural life okay to serve the impact on individual lives and communities all right next issue i'm going to talk about is the educational format of um individual a residential work workshop all right now it could take place in hotels resorts or conference centers and participants could be from sharing quarters or live separating from each other and participants came together for the uh, facilities coming together for um, meals and common program for study and an individual could be living and learn together in the same place for the entire uh, duration of the program Okay, now what are the programs involved? The programs can range from highly complex arrangements, like for example, leaders getting together in a residential setting free from uh, distractions of the world, and a few members that get together to 
to think, to do, to process, and reflect to finish activities, talks, and discussions. For example, they um, they separate from pressures, uh, roles, res responsibilities, and routines of daily life. Okay, they are free to focus, concentrate, and reflect on themselves and their lives, and also immerse themselves in the experience. Okay, now let's conclude my today's topic on implementing workshop strategies part two. Uh, in conclusion, today we learned that group learning workshop uh, of like five, four or five people in a group and heterogeneous with respect to age, gender, race, background, and interest, share knowledge and experience with each other. Uh, also, we learned today there are characteristics. Um, education contains educational formats and programs to be considered when the residential workshop introduced. Okay, now that concludes my today's topic on implementing workshop strategies part two. My next topic will be implementing uh, workshop strategies part three. Okay, stay tuned. Thank you for listening and goodbye.